right. Uh, let's look at this couch. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Sweet. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Zans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you just say not to bring it back? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? The door is locked. It's like fire and stuff. Like, let me talk to him. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Okay, let's go to his room. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside. Uh, I need an adult. <clears throat> hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah, ha ha. It's a pirate one. <clears throat> That's my bad. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <clears throat> the internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. <laughs> There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me, sometimes. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Okay, dating start. <coughs> dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name! I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We are ready to have a great time. Let's see. Oh Step one, press the C key on your dating board for the dating HUD. <laughs> Bowie! I feel so informed! I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. 
Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You are wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be you've wanted to date me from the very beginning? I said yes. No! You planned it all! You are way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh god. Yeah! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect Z. Says cool dude. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! <clears throat> but... Just let him go with this because he's having way too much fun with it. Oh, so how? Oh. This ain't any old plain pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face, reflexively, switches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ugh! How? <laughs> like I said, I was just letting it go because <laughs> clearly you're having way too much fun with that. Human. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do. Everything you say, Dr. Girlfriend, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Fucker. Romantically, I mean. I, I mean, I, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I, I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I have only drawn you deeper into your dark, intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait! What's wrong? I, 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 I can't fail at anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all... You are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. 
Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, got to go. <laughs> I think the date is over. That was interesting. <laughs> Door is still locked. Oh, I did not mean to go in there. <laughs> so that was the uh, awesome date. I c yeah, I c could. Yeah, yeah, I better save after doing all that. I just went on a date with Papyrus. I gotta save my game. Oh my god. I'm filled with so much determination. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it's locked from the inside. Wait, is this still doing? Okay. You're fine. <clears throat> oh, that's a graveyard. What's this? Oh, cool. This little dude. You! Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh, I mean, I, I guess I could save. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. <laughs> what? <laughs> Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as much legally required breaks. I'm going to Grizzlies. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Oh cool, a shortcut to Grizzlies. Fast shortcut, huh? <clears throat> hey, everyone. <clears throat> hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. <laughs> Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Brunch. Yeah. <laughs> comfy. Ah, oh, come on. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Ooh, let's get a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. This is all happening. So, what do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. He'd only take that off, that thing off if he absolutely had to, like when you did. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Uh, I think he's talking about the cool dude shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Did it say like N B at the same time? Uh. Bon appetit. You, you get tip the ketchup. ketchup. The cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. And forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry, anyways. <laughs> Anyway, cool or not, we have to agree that Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was at midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him 
warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of the talking flower? Of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh yeah, that. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. something but I forgot <laughs> okay so I guess we'll <laughs> we're all the way back in town walk all the way back I'll take the shortcut I don't know of any other shortcut man we gotta go all the way over there again <laughs> so we'll head back to that room and then we'll save the game again uh, I would have thought that we'd be able to, uh, to buy some more things. Maybe some new armor, or maybe some new healing items. We still have bicycles. Okay, let's talk to him again. Let's hang out again. Oh, okay, that's just all he does. Alright. This is a box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's that box. A box <laughs> hater. I am a box hater. Ooh. What happens if you go on that side? Do I have to go, like, can I? Oh! Ooh. A tutu lying on the ground. Okay. Hold the tutu. Uh. Armor defense, finally, a protective piece of armor. Wait, what didn't. Mm, okay, okay. I, well, I'll, I'll hang on to it for now. Ugh. Is there something here? Ooh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Hi, Dine. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding the, uh, that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard and dine, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But, Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Was 
that noise? Uh, time to run! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Ha! <laughs> Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ow. Oh, look at my face. <laughs> A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay. This does. Uh, I, I do like the uh, fact that it gave you a lot of chances to say. We will pick this up next time on Weekway.